vector form of Newton's universal law of gravitation. Objective Vector analysis of Newton's universal law of gravitation. Since force is a vector quantity, let's discuss the vector form of Newton's law of gravitation. Consider two particles A and B of masses MA and MB. Let R bar be the vector joining A and B. The unit vector along the direction of A to B is R bar divided by the magnitude of R bar. The force of attraction on B due to A is towards A, so vector form of this force is GMB MA by modulus of R bar square minus R cap. Similarly, the force of attraction on A due to B is expressed by GMA MB by the modulus of R bar square R cap. You may observe that the force on A due to B and the force on B due to A constitute an action-reaction pair. There is no change in the gravitational force that exists between the two masses due to the presence of other masses in the vicinity. Thus, the resultant gravitational force on any mass is the vector sum of the gravitational forces exerted by individual masses. Thus, if n objects are considered, the net gravitational force on one object is the summation of F1i, where F1i is the force on the first object due to its ith object. I varies from 2 to n in the summation. Illustration 1 Consider three point objects, each of mass m, placed on the three vertices of an equilateral triangle ABC of side A. What is the magnitude of the gravitational force on any one of the masses due to the other two? The magnitudes of the gravitational force on A due to B and C are equal and is equal to G M m by a square but they act as an angle of 60 degrees with each other from the vector law of addition the resultant force on a is equal to square root of f square plus f square plus 2 f f cos 60 degrees which equals to root 3 f so the magnitude of the net gravitational force on a is root 3 g m square by a square Illustration 2 In the same scenario, what is the gravitational force acting on a mass M0 kept at the centroid of the triangle? The masses kept at point A, B and C are equidistant from the centroid. We also know from the properties of triangles that the distance of the centroid from any of its vertices is A by root 3. Thus, the magnitude of the gravitational force on M0 due to any mass M is Gm0 M by A by root 3 the whole square. Thus, F equals to 3 Gm0 M by A square. Resultant force due to A and B is equal to the square root of F square plus F square plus 2 FF cos 120 degrees which equals to F. This resultant force is equal and opposite to the force due to C. So, the net gravitational force on a mass M not kept at the centroid of the triangle is zero. This inference is valid for any point mass kept at the centroid of a regular polygon with equal masses. Summary the gravitational force on A due to BF AB bar and the gravitational force on B due to AF BA bar are related as F AB bar equals to minus F BA bar and magnitude of F AB bar equals to the magnitude of F BA bar.